Danny Man, you played Sparky in the first film, and now here Sparky is in the second film. Now is Sparky out fighting fires? I, I, to be honest, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not. I don't remember exactly what I did, but he's kind of part of the crew, and apparently the character was well liked. And uh, I think John kind of was a big fan of the character because he started one of the Cars tunes the little interstitials that they did that were based on the Cars movies. I did some ADR work on Cars, on the first one, and it kind of trickled from there. So it's sort of been, it's become the gift that, that won't stop giving, which is wonderful, because I love the character. He's a lot of fun to do. I was going to say, you could compare notes with John Ratzenberger on how that works. I, John Ratzenberger is like, uh, it, yeah, rats, mouse, he's sort of family. Oh, now, now there you go. Well, now, now I, I guess since I can't ask you about Sparky in this film, let me ask you, do people ever recognize your voice? You do a lot of voiceover work. Do people ever recognize your voice when you're out on the street? Not so much on the street, but occasionally if somebody hears the name or like, you know, because nowadays with Google, everybody knows everything. But every now and then somebody will hear a voice or, or you'll do a take or something in a booth and the guy goes, wait a minute, I know you from... So there are people mostly that do this for a living that kind of know. But on the street, that, it doesn't happen much, ah. which is okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you get to collect the paycheck and you don't have to <laughs> deal with, uh, with all of the public. You get to dress like this and nobody minds. There you go. Well, thanks so much for stopping and talking and we'll look forward to seeing you in Plains Fire and Rescue. Thank you so much.